Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is a Screencast-O-Matic presentation and recording for the warm-up packet cycle for the second half of the cycle that we're currently on for the third quarter. Before we get started, please let me encourage you to do the following, to write down the question and the answer in full, to format the answers in a different colored font, and please remember to hit submit on Google Classroom. Here's the first question for the first two lessons of the week from Tuesday and Wednesday. What specific impacts can the media have on news reporting? provide at least six characteristics that define today's media. So in other words, what is today's news and media really like? Here are some things that we're going to learn about in this lesson. Number one, media and news today tends to be more topical, where only certain topics ever actually get airtime and make it to and through the public sphere. Keep in mind, media chooses often systematically what we get to hear and see and what we don't. Additionally, for entertainment purposes, the news and the media in many ways is meant to entice and increase interest and viewership. Additionally, media and news today tends to be rather informal. In their attempt to make the news rather short and contrite, this of course can have an impact on the effectiveness of stories being told. Another thing to consider here is that media and news today tends to be rather opinionated, as the news tends to offer more opinions by people in the media field rather than actual facts or substance. This can of course alter our perception of the news and media at large. Additionally, media and the news tends to be rather emotional, where the news tends to rely on the emotional appeals of the leading demographic in order, of course, to maintain and establish a strong connection. And the last point right here is that today's media news tends to be rather interactive. Today's media relies on effective communication between different entities, and of course, with the expansion of social media, now we as people interact with news and people in the media more than ever before. So those are some of the underlying characteristics that define and describe the media and the news cycle today. Let's move on to the next question, shall we? This next question here is from Thursday and Friday. And the question reads, what are six factors and aspects that make great media literacy skills? So this lesson is devoted to understanding a little bit more about what it takes to actually be a person who consumes media in an effective way. Here are some tips and tricks and factors to keep in mind. Number one, access. So finding out the best types of entities of sources is going to be really crucial. Think about where you get your news or where people who are close to you get your news. That might tell you everything you need to know about their potential political leanings of understanding the world around them and, of course, government. Think about foundational knowledge, too. It's important to access basic understandings of topics before delving deeper in those topics. So the beauty of, of course, understanding topics can help you delve deeper and expand your ideas in a more effective fashion. Think about how you synthesize information, too. The process of synthesis in media refers to taking all the news and coding it in a way that makes sense to you. If you think about some of the sources that you might have, this could of course impact your uh, interpretation of the events. Additionally, evaluation is really important too, where being objective in a good and bad aspects of the news provided to you is really important. Doing your best to be as fair and balanced as possible can go miles in many different ways. Thinking about the slant, the spin, and the tone of the news uh, being offered to you is really, really vital. Additionally, abstraction is also really important too, making connections with the news that you hear and see with bigger picture items to make even more sense to you is really crucial as well. Sometimes reporters and journalists try their best to do this for you, but other times and oftentimes you'll have to do this for yourself. Another thing to keep in mind is action. It's one thing to watch the news, but it's another thing to think about news like this, determining whether certain pieces of news require research, denial, or just further action on what you hear is of course crucial. News is not just meant to entertain, it's meant to inform, and in many ways, we can take news and affect public policy. So guys, as you can see, those are some of the things to keep in mind when it comes to media and the news. Thank you very much for tuning in, and good luck with completing the rest of the warm packet.